The controversy swirling over what was said inside the White House about Senator John McCain, who is battling with brain cancer. McCain expressed strong reservations over the president's CIA nominee. Well, now it's been learned that during a meeting at the White House, a staffer allegedly said of McCain's opinion, it doesn't matter. He's dying anyway. Tonight, McCain's daughter is asking the White House, how is this person still employed? Here's ABC's Mary Bruce. Tonight, no explanation, no acknowledgement, and no apology from the White House. Again, I'm not going to validate uh, a leak one way or the other out of an internal staff meeting. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders repeatedly refusing to address comments made by a White House aide who dismissed John McCain's opposition to the president's nominee to lead the CIA, saying it doesn't matter. He's dying anyway. McCain is battling brain cancer. On The View today, his daughter Megan suggested history will be on her father's side. My father's legacy is going to be talked about for hundreds and hundreds of years. These people, nothing burgers. Nothing. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. going to remember True. you. And, and she wondered why that aide, Kelly Sadler, still has a job. I don't understand what kind of environment you're working in when that would be acceptable, and then you can yes. come to work the next day and still have a job. Megan McCain, his daughter, wondered aloud today why Kelly Sadler still has a job here at the White House. Does she still have a job? I'm not going to comment on an internal uh, staff meeting. Cindy McCain tweeting directly at Sadler. May I remind you, my husband has a family, seven children and five grandchildren. Former Vice President Joe Biden saying decency in the Trump administration has hit rock bottom. The attack on McCain came a day after the senator forcefully opposed Trump's pick for CIA director Gina Haspel over her role in enhanced interrogations, saying her refusal to acknowledge torture's immorality is disqualifying. McCain himself was tortured during his five and a half years as a POW in Vietnam. But on Fox Business yesterday, a retired lieutenant general disparaged McCain's experience. The fact is, is John McCain, it worked on John. That's why they call him Songbird John. But there is no evidence McCain caved under pressure, instead giving his captors false information. The host of that Fox Business program later apologized. But there's another apology McCain still has yet to receive, one from the president, who famously questioned McCain's past during the campaign. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. and a half years. He's a war PW hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. Mary Bruce with us live tonight from Washington. And Mary, we know the White House initially put out a statement overnight saying they respect McCain's service to the country and that his family is in their prayers. But we saw there today when the White House was asked how someone like this remains employed, should they at least apologize, how'd they respond? David, the White House has said very little, no public apology, though one source tells us that privately that aide has called Meghan McCain to apologize. That aide, Kelly Sadler, tonight is still employed at the White House. David. Mary Bruce live tonight. Mary, thank Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.